We turn now to Donald Trump. The former president is back in the courtroom today as his civil fraud trial begins. New York's attorney general is accusing Trump and his two oldest sons of inflating their assets to, quote, cheat the system. ABC's Rena Roy has the latest from right outside the courthouse. Former President Trump once again inside a courtroom facing more legal trouble in New York. Simply put, it's a witch hunt. Opening statements will be delivered in the first day of the civil fraud trial in the case brought against him by New York State Attorney General Letitia James, accusing him and his adult sons, Don Jr. and Eric, of inflating the Trump Organization's assets by as much as $2.2 billion. Donald Trump and the other defendants have con committed persistent and repeated fraud. No matter how powerful you are, no matter how much money you think you may have, no one is above the law. Last week, the judge overseeing the case, finding Trump valued his Mar-a-Lago estate 20 times higher than its actual worth, $600 million compared to the assessed value of $27 million. The court also saying the Trump Organization valued 40 Wall Street at more than $500 million, though it's actually worth $200 million. The judge determining fraud has occurred and that there's no need to hear testimony and evidence at trial to establish that. Basically what the judge has done is reviewed the documents in the case and said, this is all I need. This is a documents case. It is clear that there was fraud here. Trump has denied any wrongdoing, attacking the AG. This has to do with election interference, plain and simple. They're trying to damage me so that I don't do as well as I'm doing in the election. He could lose control of some of his most prized assets in New York, including Trump Tower, and also be banned from conducting business in the state. The trial will help the judge determine how much Trump has to pay in penalties. The state has asked for at least $250 million. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.